this is Matt from Vestaquan. Today is Monday, April 19, 2021, and Friday was options expiration day. We kind of ended up with a consolidation day that finished up at all-time highs, and in the overnight session, we have pulled back a little bit. We are trading below Friday's close at the time of this recording. So what we're going to be looking at this morning is what has happened historically when you gap down the day after options expiration day in a bullish environment. So let me set this up in all four instruments. The setup is based upon entering the market long at the open and exiting at the close of regular trading hours. The close of regular trading hours is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. The open of regular trading hours is 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Now, currently we are trading lower. That's what I'm gonna use for this test. A simple gap down as the gap direction here from within our opening filters library. Next, I'm going to go into the indicator section. I'm going to put us in a bullish market environment. We are trading above a 10, above a 200-day simple moving average. And then lastly, I'm going to go into the market events library. And this is where I can find um, day before, day after, and day of all of the mark. Uh, all of the important market events that take place on a regular basis. So Friday was options expiration day. Uh, and the day after market events, I can find day after options expiration day. If I scroll down a little bit, it is right here. Hit equals next to that. And then I can hit view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at the open of regular trading hours, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at the close, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when you gap down the day after options expiration day in a bullish market environment. So historically, we've got 56 samples in the S&P. We've got 46 in the NASDAQ, 53 in the Dow, 47 in the Russell, and all four of them have been fairly bullish uh, some of them very bullish, but the S&P coming in at 64%, so that's fairly bullish there. The NASDAQ, very strong here. 76% of these 46 samples have closed above the open on that day. You can see the NASDAQ in the orange equity curve. If I highlight it right here, just hold my mouse over in Q, you can see how strong that equity curve is. Uh, if we go to the Dow, 64% of those have closed above the open. And then the Russell is the weakest of the group at 55%, but uh, 55% is the weakest 76 is the strongest you got a couple in there at 64 percent a piece if we look at the average win average loss the average win for the s p is larger than the average loss that is also true for the nasdaq that is true for the dow and that is true for the russell so all four of these instruments have favored uh, bigger moves to the upside on this day compared to the moves on the downside and all of them have closed above the open more often than not on this day. So historically, this little seasonality uh, day with a little bit of context around uh, the opening location and market environment has been pretty bullish. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.